Hi, my name is Spencer McIntyre and I work at Secure State in the Research and Innovation Department. What we do is we work on internal tool development, vulnerability research, and special projects. Oftentimes, clients come to us with new and obscure technologies. In order to evaluate these technologies, we often have to develop new tools because the technologies don't have existing tools in order to assess them. One of the tools that we have released and have been responsible for is Kingfisher, which is a tool to promote awareness of social engineering through phishing campaigns. What we are going to be showing you today is Terminator, a tool that we have developed in cooperation with our energy industry clients. Terminator is used to evaluate the security of smart meters. And what we're going to show you today is how it can be used to pull off information and modify certain pieces of information on a smart meter. All right, so what we are looking at is the starting command prompt of Terminator. So we have a meter connected, and one of the first things we want to do is we want to get some basic information about the meter. So Terminator uses a command line interface that's similar to Metasploit. Each one of the functional units are broken out into modules. So what we want to use is the get info module. So we are going to run this module, and now that we have done so, we can see some basic information about the meter. We can see the C1219 version, which is important to us, that we know what version the table information is being stored in. We can tell that the character encoding is using 7-bit, which is very similar to ASCII, and we can tell the device ID and the fact that this is an electrical meter as opposed to a water or gas meter. We can also tell the firmware version and the hardware version that were set by the manufacturer. Additionally, we already know that this is a GE I210, but we can actually verify verify that this is the information that the meter thinks it is based on the data that is returned from this basic information. Furthermore, we can finally get the serial number, which is oftentimes used by the meter in order to identify itself back to the electrical company. So what we are going to do now is we are going to try to brute force the meter so that way we can gain access to it. In order to do so, we are going to use the brute force module. So we're going to run this brute force module and it is going to try common usernames and passwords that are provided in a word list that is included with Terminator. We can see that it has successfully brute forced the password to user ID 1. This password is all ones. So we are going to utilize this information to log into the meter. So what we are looking at now are the system-wide options. We have effectively set our user ID and the password to the ones that we confirmed work against the meter using the brute force module. Now that we have done so, we are going to go over to the set meter ID module. What we're going to try to do is we're going to try to change the information that is being displayed on the meter. Right now, it is currently set to the value of my name. Right now, it says Spence. What we are going to change it to is beer 30. This specific meter, being a GEI 210, needs to have the ID formatted. Specifically, it needs to state that it is a string started by the ST, followed by three spaces, which go into three fields below, followed by beer 30, or the actual value of the ID that we want to be displayed on the LCD screen. Now, the LCD screen is going to cycle between multiple values. Eventually, what we are going to see is beer 30 being displayed on the LCD. There it is. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed our demonstration of using Terminator. If you have any questions about what SecureState and Research and Innovation can provide to you, please contact info at securestate.com. If you would like more information or, try out, or would like to try out Terminator for yourself, please look at our GitHub page where we provide it and many other of our open source tools. Just got R&I'd.